Good morning everyone. So today I thought I would give you an insight into the life of an online ESL teacher starting from now when I've just got out of bed um, until I finish my lessons and all the work that that entails. I just thought it might be interesting for you to have a quick insight. So um, I'm quite lucky because I have got um, I have got five lessons today, but because I live in the UK, the time difference is great. So actually it means that I'm teaching from 11 a.m. at the moment until two. So let's start. I've had my shower, I thought I'd spare you that, but I need to get ready, I need to put my makeup on. See, so looking very tired at the moment. Coffee needing to be had. So I'll catch up with you for the next stage. Right, so I have to put makeup on. I know, gorgeous I may be, but oh my good grief, looking a bit old. So, you know, some people say, why do you need to put makeup on if you're teaching? And is it really necessary? And I would say, well, well no, it's not necessary, but I like looking uh, relatively decent. So I'm going to do a quick la 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 la, get that powder on. That's always good, gets rid of the glare and the camera. Pretend I'm a bit younger than I actually am. I have got the world's fastest makeup routine, you will have no idea. There you go, that's that, all of about half a second. Bit of health goes in, doesn't it? A bit of health with the old cheeks. Now the sad thing afterwards is for me, I need to put some eyebrows off because oh my god, I have none. So another quickie going there, excuse me folks, I need to do this with a mirror because I'm so blind I can't see anymore. So that is like speed of light job, isn't it? Go, looking a bit healthier. There we go. Paint those on vaguely. Oh my god. I envy those of you who are young, who are beautiful, and who don't need to do all this rubbish. So you know, that's what we have to do, us oldies. It's great fun really, isn't it? So we'll see if that will do the trick. There you go, another half second of makeup. Then my other secret trick, what's this one? Bit more mirror everything else is mirror now you see mirror this is all in the world of getting you to look like you're healthy in front of the camera it's actually quite important i think because i like to look like i'm awake when i see my kids that i've got expression on my face etc etc so there we go do those little eyebrows they're done another half second they're never that close to the camera but there you go eyebrows eyebrows what do you think and then last but not least, I can't even be bothered with eyeliner, so I just have my mascara. My mascara, that's it. There you go. That is my makeup routine. That is all I do. But I think, I think I look a little bit healthier. I think they can see my eyes when I teach. And that has taken me how long? How long is this video? Two minutes, two and a half minutes, so it's very quick. See you for the next bit. So this, ladies and gentlemen, this machine, this machine here, is my best friend. Because as I stand here in the morning waiting it for it to get ready, coffee. Can you promise me anything is better than that when you get up? No, it isn't. That I love. Cheers, everyone. So sustenance for a teacher. Um, right, so me in the morning I have, I tend to wake up quite early, even though I don't teach till 10, uh, 11, depends on the day actually. But, um, you know, I love having time just to go through my lessons, to make sure everything is ready and that I know what I'll be doing. And often I um, make some extension activities as well for my better students. So for instance, this morning, I've got some little ones, some three-year-olds, four-year-olds and some um, five-year-olds but the five-year-olds are learning to read and they're really good so we have great fun doing all sorts of extensions and they love um, sort of asking each other simple questions so I've got to do all that so with my coffee that is what I'm up to now so cheers everyone right so here we go I'm going to show you what um, Wales English's work looks like so what I do when I prep my lessons for Wales is I just go through the PowerPoints because you can download the materials before the lessons. So that's super, super useful. 
um, because obviously you do not want to go into the lesson and not know what you're going to be teaching. And with Wales, because they provide you all the lesson plans and they provide you with the content and you need to know how the content flows, you need to know what you're expected to do and the type of goals and objectives that are the aim of the each uh, for each lesson. So for instance, this particular one that I am bringing up now, I'm going to show you this. Right, so here we go. This is a pre-K lesson, so they are just above beginners. And we're going to be looking at this. This is a subject of, of the pre-K lesson today. So what I will be doing is to go through the slides slowly. They have their objectives for learning and the classroom objectives as well. There we go, that was the wrong way around. Learning objectives, classroom objectives first. They often start with a video. Um, obviously, I'm not allowed to show you all the content of their lessons, but I thought it would be interesting for you to see a little bit what I do when I prep. So let's carry on in a sec. So I'm now starting to prep my lesson, which is what I do in the morning every day. I do them before a lesson. I don't tend to prep for the week. Some of the higher level ones, which require more time, yeah, maybe. But the, the, the lower level ones, um, it really just... A question of becoming familiar um, and having some more coffee. Anyway, what I do now, this probably not very planet friendly, I have to say, but each teacher has their own way of having a lesson plan. They prep in their own way, but I have, a, I just print. Isn't this terrible? I print out the um, the uh, PowerPoint. Um, as many slides as I possibly can on one piece of paper but I keep these I have files for all the lessons because you teach the same lessons again and again so in fact it's really useful because it speeds up my prep having taught it the first time so you know I take notes so this is what I'm doing I'm looking through the different slides on my computer and making sure I know the animations on them and then I just take notes I make sure I know my objectives so I can ensure that I've hit them by the end of the lesson and that the students know um, what they're supposed to be learning. So that's really important, isn't it? Now, the other thing um, I tend to do is just to prep, as I said earlier, I prep games because I am, the students always love that. So, so, you know, for instance, this lesson is on family members. So for our very young, very new English learners, they're learning the individuals. And I have a great game that I use because I have an iPhone and I've got this wonderful app called um, Apple Stars to Apple and it has props and it has um, games on it and one of the props it has is, is, is family so I'm going to use those props and make a game from them so I can ensure that by the end of the lesson the students have got everything up here. So there we go, I'm going to carry on prepping and having my coffee. Okay, so let's go! So today we will be learning new words about family members and we will read a story called The Big Family, okay? And at the end we will ask and answer questions. So let's go. Now watch and listen. So they're watching the video now. So there we go. First class done of the day. So those were my little pre-K kids. One of them, Lindsay, was absolutely exhausted, could hardly concentrate, but hey, we all know that. And now I've got four of the baby classes back to back. So they're 25 minutes each and these kids are all learning to read. So it's a very, very rewarding class because you see them really progress. Some of them are easier than others. One class I have, the last one, I really need to extend because they just are so good. Anyway, I will see you shortly. So here I am. I've managed to do the rest of my reports. I've written everything up. The sun's out, so I've come out into the garden because this is one of the best things about working at home is that I can be at home. I can come out and garden you see plants everywhere it's definitely my favorite thing but um yeah it's been a good day you know this is your typical online teacher way of life get up work hard i've still got some lessons to prep 
they were basically it was a good day it was a good day i had some uh, interesting children one of my favorite groups one of the little boys who's three decided to have an absolute tantrum just before he came into lessons and bless him he's so funny he loves the classes and we just i managed to make him engage and and smile so that was good it's one of the challenges actually you know when you when you're teaching young kids like that is of course they can have their moments they were all quite tired i think they're beginning to go back to school as well so they're tired than they've been recently but um yeah so now having done all my work um i'm gonna sit in the garden i'm going to come and do a little bit of gardening you see these are my my beautiful plants here we are all my plants i've got many and um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy my time here and then a bit later I'll do some more work, but not much, only a little bit, because it's the beauty of doing what we do. Anyway, you have a lovely afternoon and uh, I will check in soon. Here is my hill where I walk a lot. That's a hanging tree. I will explain that one later. There you go. Isn't it lovely? Where's my dog? There you are. It's Kai. Hey, look, Kai. So there you go. My day is finished. It's been quite productive. It's quite late now. Um, I'm teaching again tomorrow, 11 o'clock as always. Um, I've managed to prep all my lessons, they're ready to go. I found some fantastic YouTube videos for my more able kids tomorrow that I have. They're a bit, um, they're big fans of videos and um, we're looking at bioluminescence in animals. So I found some pretty cool stuff. Anyway, it is time for me to go to bed and start all over again. But it's really nice, this life. Huh? If you've ever wondered whether or not being an online English teacher is a good idea, I would say yes. Because today, not only have I done all my work, I've earned money, I've done my videos for the YouTube channel, but I've also spent time with my um, daughter who's back from university because of COVID-19. We spend quality time together. I can look after the house, I can walk the dog, I can use, do the garden. I just have a great quality of life. There's something fantastic about this job, I love it. Anyway, it's time for me to go sleep. See you soon.